Hi, it's me Crystal from Simply Tidy, and today we're going to talk about how to purge your file cabinet. So every year it's a good idea to get rid of excess and unnecessary files that are in your filing cabinet taking up space. Remember, all documents relating to this year's taxes should already be in a current year tax file folder. While you're purging, make sure that you put last year's taxes in an archive with all your other tax years for the last 10 years. You can use a file box like this to store all your tax archives or if you have a separate drawer in a filing cabinet or whatever, that works too. When you're purging, you'll start with the files that you get monthly bills for. These are like credit card bills, bank, bank statements, things like that. And you're going to, you can shred everything except for the current month, except if you have a dispute on something, you'll want to keep those, you know, papers handy. While you're purging, you want to make sure that you toss or shred anything with irrelevant, outdated, or obsolete information. You can also shred or toss your receipts for any minor purchases that you've been saving. You'll want to keep current warranty information along with your receipts. You'll want to keep all information about your car purchase and different things having to do with your car until your car is sold. You'll want to keep information that has to do with your property, the buying or selling of your property, the home loan information, the insurance information, all of that until your property is sold. And actually you want to probably keep hold of most of it until after three years after you've sold the property. You'll also want to keep any receipts for major purchases that you have and you can determine what you think is a major purchase versus a minor purchase. That's all up to you. But, and you also want to keep a hold of any investment information that you have. According to the house that Clutter built, you should keep a bill or receipt past one year's time if you're disputing it, a charge or you're returning an item or you're waiting for your insurance to pay a claim. You'll want to keep an archive of files of papers that you need to keep for longer than a year period and you can use like the file box that I showed you earlier for that kind of a thing and the things that you want to archive are tax documents for the last 10 years any medical records academic records and legal documents or proof of jury duty there are some files that you don't want to risk losing for those files you'll use a fire safe in here you can keep your personal information like birth certificates marriage licenses and things like that. You'll also keep your titles and deeds for um, any property that you own. You also want to keep your insurance, life insurance information, and your any retirement information, pensions and things like that, so that you know how to get a hold of that money when the time comes. So a good rule of thumb for paperwork is when in doubt, don't throw it out. There's um, a lot of things that can happen that are bad if, if you throw it out. So. Um, you only want to throw things away if you know for sure you, you can either get it somewhere else or you're not going to ever need that information again. So, hopefully I've helped you learn a little bit about filing. Uh, I hope that you will like, share, and subscribe to my content. Just click the little circle up there and that will subscribe you to my page. And I hope you guys have a good day.